Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before we get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Siege Smokescreen. This is a decal set that also includes weapons. So with the set, you get a sheet of decals on this big, long chrome backing. And these are the vinyl style decals. You get a sheet of decals on white backing, and this seems to be all the names that go on vehicle mode. And as far as the weaponry is concerned, you get two launchers and two black missiles. So without further ado, let's take a look at Siege Smokescreen, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Smokescreen is the most colorful of the four figures that use this mold. I absolutely love the red, white, and blue color scheme. He also carries over that translucent canopy that actually shows off some fairly nice details underneath. Front of the vehicle, you've got Cybertronian writing there on the hood, a tampographed Autobot logo. There are silver headlights, kind of within that white background, a white spoiler underneath, Cybertronian detailing, or excuse me, Cybertronian writing there on the doors, stripes all the way around, back of the vehicle. Ah, you got molded details. Now the wheels, I hate the wheels on these vehicle modes. Get that to focus in. That is that clearish, grayish plastic, and it just doesn't look good. Now, granted, the back wheel looks better than the front, and I think that's because of the white background behind the front wheel. Or it may be a different plastic style. I don't know. Either way, not a big fan of those wheels. So there you go. That is War for Cybertron Siege Smokescreen in vehicle mode before. And after. Smokescreen looks like he's ready to enter the Daytona 500. Toy Hacks made this figure look like a completely different toy. Now the first thing you guys are probably noticing is the cell shaded windows. You got a cell shaded windshield, side windows, and back. These are optional. There are decals to apply to just make it look like he's got a translucent windshield and rear window. So you got that option if you don't like cell shaded. I love the cell shaded look. I also like the safety netting right there on the side windows. The gambler I put underneath for his name. You do have different options. I showed those off earlier where you can have smoke screen, Don Devendorf or Magnus. Now I was wrong earlier. This is not a white backing. This is clear backing. And this comes into play with some of the other wording and labels on the figure, such as the Bosch label there and Valvoline. Also on the front, you have some options where you can put the 38 covering up the Autobot symbol or switch these back and forth. I decided to cover up the Autobot symbol and put one right here and you'll see why in robot mode. New decals right there for the lights. On the side, I love the product placement decals. That is so cool. Back of the vehicle, more product placement decals, and he now has tail lights. Nothing for the wheels, but I can forgive that because with all these other extra decals, you're not really looking at the wheels. So there you go, guys. One final look at smokescreen in vehicle mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, you'll notice that Smokescreen is just a repaint of War for Cybertron Siege Barricade. Or maybe Barricade is a repaint of Smokescreen. Who knows? Nonetheless, Smokescreen has some very good collaring, at least here on his upper body, with the red, white, and blue collar scheme. Got chrome headlights right there, tampographed Autobot symbol on the middle, 
Good details there on the wings with the red and white striping along with the Cybertronian writing. I love the face sculpt. Face sculpt looks really good with that chrome face paint and yellow crest. Now, aside from the upper body, lower body, lots of great detail, but it's just way too much black. You kind of lose everything. And down here on the lower legs, the shins are covered with that translucent plastic. The feet, they look good. You got the blue, red, and white striping there. So that is pretty much it for robot mode. So there is one final look at War for Cybertron Siege smokescreen in robot mode before and after. Now most of Smokescreen's decals from vehicle mode carry over into robot mode, but there are a few that you can see better in this mode, and that includes the Dotson logo right there on the bottom spoiler. Robot specific decals include the chrome yellow pieces for the crest and shoulder decals. Now there's a couple options for these. You could do both shoulder decals that look just like this one, or do the optional Autobot symbol. I went with Autobot. That's where I replaced the Autobot symbol up here on top. Moving down to the waist, you get green decals right there and a red belt buckle. Down on the upper legs, you get white striping with a logo there on the side. Moving down to the lower legs, the cell shading and red carry over very well from vehicle mode. Now we'll take a look at the rocket launchers that Toy Hacks includes with this set. These are a nice solid piece. Excuse me, well if I can get them off. They're in there pretty good. So let me, we'll go ahead and use this one. This is the rocket. It's a nice solid piece that actually slides over the tip of the launcher. So it goes over just like so. This is the same launchers that was included with the Prowl decal set. Though with this one, the rockets stay on a lot better. With my Prowl, I had to glue the rockets on. So there you go, guys. One final look at War for Cybertron Siege Smokescreen after. Toy Hex's decal set for War for Cybertron Siege Smokescreen really waves that checkered flag. I absolutely love what this set did for this figure. He looks so much better now. Now, I know we got an Earthrise Smokescreen heading our way in a couple months, but man, right now, this does it for me. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!